are such an asshole. Hello, you teeny, tiny, teeny, peeny dick. Military discount appreciated. Ah, our fine men and women of the armed forces. How much for a YouTube video related to the stages of grief in relation to the West and the U.S. in general, or the, the USA and the West in general? I have busted my ass off with pathetic and miserable parents. I have suffered the slings and arrows of the scum sucking boomers and the Xers. I am now a mayor. Wait, the Xers aren't cool? Keep People kept telling me the Xers were cool. I'm like, now when I was hanging out with them, I do remember being a child, and I remember going to college, and I remember just a bunch of sanctimonious assholes. Surprise, the Xers aren't all that great either. Uh, I am now a millionaire. whoop de fucking do The traditional stages of grief are denial, anger, bargain, depression, and finally acceptance. I would like you to go through the benefits of acceptance that globalism has failed. Benefits of acceptance that globalism has failed. Well, how's that? The, the <clears throat> Okay. Uh, I like to collect and fix rare things. The scum-sucking boomers dying has made rare things not so rare. I like fixing them, so that's good. What can we non-debt slaves look forward to with the scum aging into their great bass fishing boat in the sky? Are you sure your, your contempt is with the, the collapse of Western civilization or the, or the boomers? Um, <clears throat> how much for a YouTube video related to the stages of grief in relation to the U.S. and West in general? Okay, so let's go through that to use that structure that you provided denial that's most people like well just hope it is. these are like even you democrats um but especially you democrats well i remember when the dot-com bubble or not the dot-com the housing bubble was bursting and the recession was there and literally everyone republican included well well hopefully the economy just turns around and it's it's hope it's like no there are hard long critical structural changes that need to be made within the human population of the U.S. Let's just leave the West out of this for now. That need to be changed fundamentally. Um, like ethics, uh, respect for your community, not being a criminal. And in this case, we're talking about uh, bankers essentially stealing money from the taxpayers. That's, that's what it was. Committing fraud would be <clears throat> maybe not you could get arrested for it, but, but the act, they were committing a, an, an act against the, the community. Um, you have to go through and permanently change these people. And I don't mean like by brainwashing or <clears throat> re education or reindoctrination camps. I mean, punishment. If you put me in charge, I can't say what I do. But if you put me in charge of whatever, Department of Commerce, whatever the financial industry operates under, answers to, you'd never have a bank bailout again. Not because it'd be a policy, because the I would convince the bankers through various forms of completely legal punishment that if they fucked with it, don't touch the boats. Some people are going to get that one. Don't touch the boats. Stop messing with my boats, man. Like, do not fuck with the taxpayer. And there would be punishments and great disincentives I would have with all the various financial heads in the financial industry to make it abundantly clear. I swear by my pretty blue, blue bonnet, you will not cost the taxpayer a cent. Like the Blankfeld, blink, blink, the, the crypto thief, guy the fraudster that would be an opportunity to say let me i won't say what it is but i'd have this guy simon blankfeld i'd just say hey look what i'm gonna do to this guy completely legal completely legal no i wouldn't think of it and i'm like yeah you don't want that to happen to you right i mean he's got a he's got a black mark on his resume now but you want that result um, that's what, and, and that's on, that's, I'm just talking about bankers, but this has to happen to pretty much everyone in America, not to a punishment level like that, but <clears throat> the professors, college admins, politicians, and then the people who believe these lies from the people that told them the lies <clears throat> saying like, no, you have to work. Yes. Life is hard. 
And no, things just don't magically get better because ultimately the denial stage is where it's just somebody, not me, do something to quote Turd Flinging Monkey. Where it's like, no, you each are going to be responsible. You each are going to owe up. And as every individual cell in a body needs to be healthy and not cancerous, we all have to be healthy cells and not cancerous. <clears throat> there is no, well, the government or somebody do something. I don't know. I need a student loan bailout. I can't find a job. And the government needs to raise the, the, the lower the interest rate, raise the minimum wage. Somebody, not me, do something. Like you all, all humans within the United States would and unfortunately be a form of <clears throat> reverse indoctrination or unprogrammed because y'all been brainwashed by the Democrats. Y'all been brainwashed by leftist teachers. Yes, you have. Don't act otherwise. Right. And, and consequently after that journalists, we'd all have to have like, okay, here's a basic laws of economics. So you can no longer deny, well, maybe things with us. But yeah, the U S is collapsing, but, all, all empires collapse, <clears throat> probably largely for the same reasons, but the, they're in the denial stage. They're just, well, things is we just print off more money. Those smart people at the Federal Reserve of Washington, I like Biden. He told me the thing I want to hear. So that's the denial stage. The conservatives might be aware, of like, hey, there's some fundamental structural problems with society, <clears throat> but I think they are denying how close it might actually be. And how many people do you know go and buy guns and ammo? And maybe my audience knows a lot. How many of you, how many of the conservatives do you know send precious little princess to go major in some worthless liberal art shit? Like, yeah, you don't, or borrow money, go into debt. They themselves don't learn practical skills. It's like the light, the electricity will be on forever. We're just, it's not going to happen today or tomorrow. <laughs> So then the thing happens, then there's anger. Everyone's a rage and upset that you literally have um, women video game developers saying, promoting this stuff, saying, oh, it's great. We have no white men in our video games. Look it up. And they're upset. Oh, immigrants are being let in. Did, did your, did your, not to skew it this way, but it did skew this way politically. Did your women folk and simp vote, vote for that? They did. Oh my God. Shocking. <sighs> I can't believe it. Then there's bargaining um, where the, you're going to, I don't know what bargaining is like hope. It's just more hope. You know, there's not enough electrical engineers or linemen or line women to keep the electrical grid up. And then you're like, okay, okay. Well, um, I'll, I'll like turn off my, my lights a little bit more. I'll, uh, I'll make sure to like, not, uh, Use the hot tub or something like that. Uh, I'll, I'll cut back on my. I was like, no, it's too late. The electrical grid, you do not. It, it you have waited too long <clears throat> to scale back on electrical consumption because the problem is more fundamental than that. You do not have the skilled labor and talent, let alone in the numbers, to go and maintain the electric grid. So no matter you could turn off your lights, it might kick the can down a little bit. But you're going to be without electricity. <clears throat> As it happens, there's depression. There's like, oh my God, we're hopeless. Da, 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 we can't do anything. This is, this is like where you lick your wounds. Oh my God, there's no electricity. And people are shooting us. And uh, there's violent crime. And the cops aren't doing anything. It's like, oh, that was just Minneapolis three years ago, wasn't it? No, oh my God, won't somebody do something? I voted Democrat. I'm moving a little bit. Oh my God. That's how Minneapolis, uh, Minneapolis people sound. And then after you're done licking your wounds, especially if your life is threatened by it, then you accept the situation rather quickly. <clears throat> you're like, okay, what do we do? And I think I'll be perfectly honest. The vast majority of Americans, especially the leftists, would actually um, um, long range hole puncher themselves. Uh, they, they'd unfortunately fred themselves. Uh, because the acceptance would require the, the worst thing imaginable to them, and that is they'd have to work for a living. And to them, that death is a better fate than that. That let's, Very simply, leftists especially, but even some conservatives, you know, they just put, ah, I'm a conservative, I'm a Republican, I'm a libertarian. Like, yeah, but you still majored in journalism and you're a lazy sack of shit. <clears throat> I would almost say that goes universally for all Americans. Like, I vote Republican. Why are you fat? Just answer me that. Why are you fat? Why are you fat? 
it's just it's like cheering for the Green Bay Packers. It doesn't mean anything. <clears throat> so I would think most people would end it themselves rather than accept, oh, you get to till your own fields and you get to take shifts and you get to suffer and endure. Um, because the you know, just like death, it, you can't bring someone back to life. You can go through these stages, they'll inevitably accept it. Oh, there's no electricity. <clears throat> I don't care how many zeros are at the end of your uh, welfare check. There's no food for you to buy anything with. And you can scream at the sky at white men and the Republicans in the Senate and whoever, Trump and Reagan. Still doesn't change the fact policies set forth disincentivize enough farmers to stop making food. And your stomach is still going to accept that it's hungry. And so those would be the stages of grief here in the West or the United States <clears throat> or any empire that inevitably does collapse. All empires collapse. It happened in the Roman Empire. Uh, I would like you to go through the benefits of acceptance that globalism has failed. Okay, so what I think you mean by this is that globalism has tried to do its little... Where the hell are my key? Oh, there's my keys. Um, that the people who knew better than us the people that are ahead of the UN, not just government agencies and, and government politicians, but international, whether it's the George Soros, the UNs, the Carl Schwab's, or no, that's the website. Car Carl, who's the guy you will eat the bugs? That's not Charles Schwab, Carl Schwab. Charles Schwab is the finance company. <clears throat> Carl Schwab is the Marxist asshole that would, that would hang out with the bankers if I was ever president. Um, <clears throat> where the heck was I going with that? Um, oh, these elitists, these pampered rich kids from Western civilization who had no real world experience, not a single one of them worked as engineers or soldiers or anything honorable like that. They don't know how the real people live. Uh, their dream, their little philosophical, political, philo philosophical, ideology well you could call it globalism i'd call it communism you call it socialism environmentalism which is a subset on their little dream their lives and if you're trying to look at a benefit from this their entire value that they value themselves on has failed um i'm trying to think of a, of a microcosmic example um, I had one, I got two in my mind, one, I, well, let's just go with the one I'm remembering. The other one might come to me. <clears throat> there was a, um, an obituary in the newspaper in New York of a woman who died. I believe it was cancer. She was not more than 55. She died young. And I remember this one stood out, not that I read the obituary, someone sent it to me <clears throat> and it was all about her life and what she did and it was all activism all of it and of course of the leftist variety she was raised in a very staunch a staunch traditional jewish home she did that edgy cool exer boomer thing we came in atheist oh my god i'm so intelligent i don't believe in the god in the sky um she became or maybe was I don't know. You, you really, you don't. You know, it's like, are, are you actually a lesbian? Or you're just doing that for shits and giggles. Honestly, I want to know. Um, she she was a lesbian. We'll just go with that. Cut her hair. Yeah, rebelling, rebelling against daddy. Came from wealth, and her entire resume, her entire life, the entire eulogy of sorts, was just about how she fought against. Um, Re religious overreach and fought for lesbian gay rights and you know i'm not necessarily against either of those you know like well yeah you should have right no there shouldn't be cults religious cults absolutely not i get it i'm a preacher's kid i understand but when you read that that's all she did in her entire life and then died <clears throat> that's sad because it's not that she failed i mean there's been some some gay rights, but her goal wasn't to get the equal treatment of all people, regardless of your sexual preferences, or to uh, uh, <clears throat> debunk religious cults or religion and that. 
her goal was just to go and find purpose and meaning, but without work. And all she did was become an activist. She bitched to want to complain. All the pictures I saw her was miserable because she was trying to avoid work. That's it. And at the end of the day, when she was about to pass away, whether she was conscious, but her last conscious thought, there must have been some thoughts where it's like, not only did I piss away my life, but I have failed at anything I wanted to. Paul Krugman, if you believe that he believes what he's writing, <clears throat> which I don't think he does. Let's, let's use Robert Reich. Robert Reich is a perfect example. Here's a better example. Robert Reich is an 80-year-old man, former labor secretary under Bill Clinton. He's on the internet spewing just rank Marxist shit. At, at one time, he was like, you know, he tried to present the, the facade of a normal thinking person. Uh, and now he's just a petulant little child who's ranting, really just ranting about socialism, ranting about Marxism. Um, Keith Olbermann, kind of the same thing. And they're pissed off because even though they've gotten a lot of their policies put in, it's still not enough. The policies have actually worsened things. They don't think so. They just need more. But he, his entire life, Keith Olbermann's entire life, was all about getting socialism to work. And it didn't. It failed. And so then you got to think of these global elitists, whether it's the UN, Davos, whatever else. They're precious, spoiled. Oh, I love to use the word. Kuantahahas. They're just the most spoiled little weak, soft pussies the Western world has to offer. They had nothing else in life except the little hobby of saving the world. You know, Jessica and Jason Christ, like I talk about, they're going to save the world. Oh, um, <clears throat> the girl with Down syndrome from Sweden. How dare you? That girl. They're in, and it's not that they haven't implemented socialist policies or socialism hasn't made great gains being instituted in different economies and, and governments. It's that it still fails. And their entire life was about getting uh, the philosophy of laziness, parasitism, sloth to work, and it's not working. <clears throat> and so it, the benefits, you know, the benefits of acceptance that globalism has failed, that means nearly all the ideologues that caused the collapse or is causing the collapse of Western civilization, at least at some level, at minimum, they're pissed off that they failed to bring about their little socialist utopia. Again, don't know how many times we're going to do this, <clears throat> but then also think about it. And I'm not saying it to make you feel better. I'm, I'm sure you kind of how to enjoy the decline. What's that like if your entire life pursuit was some kind of, philosophy and you wasted your entire life on it whether it was the lady advocating whatever lesbian rights uh, anti-jewish religion whether it's uh robert right go look up his twitter here's an old man who's like hey, what are you doing more of the rich people's money shut up you fucking twerp like that's your life <clears throat> hillary clinton a mad original girl boss who didn't become president um, and whatever these international dopes are doing, they're, they're a whole, the one thing they had, cause they had everything else. They still failed. They just failed at it. <clears throat> and so, yeah, the, the first benefit is to realize just how much of a, maybe a pain, but, uh, existential crisis. It causes a lot of these people that, that it fucking failed. It just, they failed it. And all the people that believed in them, you know, they're like, oh, free money? Oh, we'll, we'll figure out a way to make lead out of gold. I mean, just, just look at people who live in, you know, Southside Chicago. Look at people who lived in Minneapolis. They, the rioters didn't burn down mostly Republican. They burned down their fellow neighbor's shit. <clears throat> What's that like being constantly thinking, you know, oh, it's the white man or Republicans or Ronald Reagan? I mean, think about all the people who are so pissed off about Trump that, yeah, Donald Trump is preventing you from living your life. Yeah, it's Donald Trump, all right. And the hatred that goes, good, good. Let the hate burn within you. <laughs> but you got the people trying to implement the system and they fail. So their lives were wasted. And the people who believed it, the dopey sheep who just pissed away their lives, believe in that shit. You know, you give them all the government checks in the world. And, they, you know, people in your student loan bailout, like if you're 38, you need a student loan bailout. Even if you get it, your life is fucked. Was somebody telling me about Chris something this they did an article about this guy. He went to India to or no Ukraine to avoid paying his student loans. Um, I guess he's back in the US now. And you look at this guy, it's like, fuck, that's a life worse than death. 
really, you look at the, just go look him up. He's some guy, India, Ukraine. Maybe it was Chris, I don't know, but he he was going to move overseas to avoid his student loans. You just look at him, like he's got a LinkedIn profile and everything. It's like, wow. You're just looking fat fucking loser. He's not getting laid. Probably has no friends. I'm being serious, but he has no friends. <clears throat> there, that's, they wasted it, their one life. And so that's where I kind of find solace. That's where, uh, when you accept globalism has failed, how you benefit from it. It's just like, wow, watching and enjoying other people's misery. That's how I do it. <clears throat> Not that that's the thing I live for, but when I look at, oh, we did we did this thing. I'm over, I won't say where, but I'm out east. And um, we're driving in. This gal had a Ruth Bader Ginsburg bumper sticker on it. And we're we're behind her, and everyone's taking bets. I'm like, guarantee you she's ugly and pissed off. They're like, you don't know that. Da, da, da. And they kind of know me, so they kind of give me shit anyway. Because that they know I'm right. I'm like, okay, let's pull up, pull up on him. I'm like, I'm not saying there isn't a smiling woman with a Ruth Bader, because you know it's a woman. It's not saying there isn't right now in the world today a woman with a Ruth Bader Ginsburg bumper sticker who is not smiling. I'm sure there is, um, but they're miserable people generally. And so we pulled up, we're, we're hanging the left of the day. Sure enough, old, pissed off, miserable, postmenopausal woman, overweight, not pretty, just pissed off. I'm like, well, that's what happens when you worship a religion that don't work. You, you just keep hoping to cake, you know, manna from heaven, gold out of out of lead. You keep hoping for it. And so that's where I kind of like, eh, it failed, but man, the people who really wanted to happen. Think about that. They wasted their we did something fun. And here, <clears throat> this is the best way. It's not coping, it's living your life. It's, do, it's doing the best you can. I like to collect and fix rare things. The scum-sucking boomers dying has made things not so rare. Right. They bought up all the – you can get actually a classic car pretty affordably right now. So much so it's cheaper than getting a, a new used car. I like fixing them, so that's good. Seeing you enjoy that. You're, it's making lemonades out of lemon. You're taking their over-purchases, taking it off their hands because they got to sell it because they didn't have health insurance, so they didn't save money for, you know, I need a new spleen. Uh, sell the – the 69 Mustang. Oh, they left it in the ground and fix it right and maintain it. You buy it for pennies. You fix it up. Now you got yourself the John Wick car. <clears throat> what can we non-debt slaves look forward to with the scum aging into their great bass fishing boat in the sky? All right. Well, with the collapse or the exiting of the boomer generation, um, there's a couple things you can look forward to. A lot of actual silver linings <clears throat> that you may not be aware of. One... With the boomers finally getting out of the way, whether it's through retirement or death, uh, the log jam is finally starting to open up that everyone now can advance. Me and my buddy were talking about this, how he gets um, job offers. I'm getting job offers. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. Um, <clears throat> younger people now, you can. I know you all bitch and whine about boomers. As you have every right, uh, but now you're going way too lazy the other direction where a $20 an hour job or a $15 fast food restaurant job like, why are you picking up on that shit? Uh, so that's good. This this log jam of, I wouldn't even say worthless, but counterproductive people are finally getting out of the system. Now we can all move along. Uh, what else? They had a tremendous amount of material wealth, a lot of which is going to be repossessed by the banks to go satisfy mortgages. They're still out on their estates. <clears throat> but you're going to see some houses hitting the market. You got a lot. A lot of stuff is going to hit the market, which should put downward pressure on some very nice things. You you have collectible cars, and uh, you know it, <clears throat> you can pick them up for cheaper than you could before. I have kind of a similar thing where it's um, I like agates. You know the Fairburn agates. Well, most of the agates were acquired and, and found long ago, and they made their way into stores and people buy them. Well, the boomers die. Mom and uh, you know uh, the, the kids and the grandkids are like oh dad's old rocks well this fool well I like agates and there's some very pretty pieces out there you can buy I don't buy them though because I want to find my own I think it's kind of cheating but someday maybe I just maybe I want like one one quality museum piece and maybe I pass that on to to nieces and nephews and things like that so there's that. Uh, link below, I have a link to an essay called Sanity is the Future of Wealth. I think this is a tremendous thing we non-debt slaves get to look forward to. Fine. You hate um, 
liberal women uh, game developers literally saying, we don't have white men in our video games. Fine, you hate that. Fine, you hate Gillette saying men suck. You hate, fine, okay. Uh, but at least you have your sanity. Can you imagine what it's like to actually think that big is beautiful and you're entitled to a man? Can you imagine what it's like being one of these journals? What few remain getting laid off as all these worthless journalism publications go belly up or get sold off? Can you imagine what it's like being a 40-year-old person who needs a student loan bailout? Can you imagine what it's like thinking that you don't need a member of the opposite sex and you can get fat and you can eat whatever you want. You can treat people like shit and ultimately only to die alone. And not, the dying would be the, the release. That would be that would be the mercy. Living a life of being, oh, the Ruth Bader Ginsburg gal. Just being pissed off at men. <laughs> can you imagine? Wait, can you imagine? Uh, I mean, pick them all. Pick, there's very, for every, whatever, Barack Obama, Ocasio-Cortez, for every leftist that gets lucky enough to get elected and actually make a living in it, there are at least tens of thousands of aspiring lazy people who just didn't get lucky, didn't have the connections. Um, I'll give you a Hunter Biden. Do you want, do you really want his life? Do you really want his life? Really? Do you want it? Um. Uh, <clears throat> Just enjoying the fact that you are sane and know that big is not beautiful, that you like girls with tight asses and, and big boobs, that uh, for the women out there, you know you want a masculine man and you're okay with a man taking care of you and you want to be a stay-at-home wife and you love your children, to know that um, there that, that um, I was going to two things. To know that your politics is not the most important thing in life, nor is the traits you were born with. The the number, I mean, the Democrats have done a spectacular job making people miserable by convincing them the most important thing about them is the traits they were born with. Could you imagine being, um, and, and not being very clear, I'm not talking the actual percent of the not straight community, because we'll just say lesbian, bi, all the, all, all, trans, everything. The percent of the not straight community that is actually not straight, right? The percent of the, okay, so those people, not straight, they're legit. I would say they're saying, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gay. I just like, to, I like dick, right? What can I say? But then you go on and you're you're a mechanic or you you get on with a regular life it's not nah, just like dick that's all it is versus the percent of the not straight community that is faking it they're straight but they're faking it for attention and dying the hair is ridiculous colors and they freak out on the inner name when anybody says no one gives a shit no one gives a shit that you're trans we really don't could you imagine how miserable it is to be that to fake your your uh sexual preference when in fact you are straight or I guess the most extreme, how, how miserable would you like to be? How would you be like to, the people who then go through gender reassignment surgery <clears throat> because they want to be popular in school? Like that, and that are not actually trans, trans, uh, transsexual. Like, okay. I, we, I even had two actual legit transsexual clients and their, the questions you could tell their questions weren't about their sexuality. It was career stuff. Okay. So I'm doing this and I need, it was like insurance related on one. How do I, I'm like, Oh, okay. Yeah. You got to do it this way. Um, but could you imagine being straight, but so lazy, you're not willing to work at becoming a valuable human being that you just, Oh my God, I'm trans. Everybody I dyed my hair a crazy color. What is that life? Like what is, what's that like, man? You have sanity, you know, you watch uh, whatever, the whatever podcast or Fresh and Fit. The same people are the audience. Who do you want to be? Do you want to be the audience or do you want to be the, uh, I'm sorry, the hosts? Do you want to be these guys? Predominantly guys. Got the shit together, know what they're doing. Make a good money too at it along the way. Or the delusion. Oh, yeah, they're pretty and they're young. Do you want to be the delusional girls? We're all tens. Oh, fuck that. You could give them all the student loan bailouts in the world, <clears throat> play patty cake and make create make work government jobs with the ridiculously stupid degrees. At the end of the day, you're sane. And 
even though the real world pisses you off, at least your expectations of the real world are congruent with what the real world is. What's it like living in a delusional world all the time and nothing goes your way? Because ultimately, at the end of the day, I don't care what the TV says or Democrats say. When it comes to individuals spending time with you and you're some Marxist leftist piece of shit dick who's always stealing from people, no one wants to hang out with you. No one. <clears throat> so that's another silver lining. Um, I think watching the boomers realizing how much they fucked up. I, 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 people say, oh, you shouldn't enjoy other people's pain. Fuck that shit. That's what's on the menu. That's what's on the menu. So I enjoy watching people. You know, the all the old ladies that listen to Oprah and divorce their husbands because, you know, the fat black woman of Chicago said so. <clears throat> now no one's there. Children don't even hang out with them. Grandchildren don't even hang out with them. You know, it, you can't be a parasitic leftist dick, essentially a parasite. You can't be a parasite, which is what leftism is, and expect to have a quality life. You just can't. I mean, some people get lucky. You know, Obama, he's got a great family. I, I think so. I think him and Michelle, have, have, again, I've, I've envied that before. And I think a lot of that comes from the fact that Obama didn't know his dad. <clears throat> and so he wanted a stable family. So he has that. But that that's that's not common. Just look around. Look at the minute. they talking about the increase in homelessness. They say, well, did you know it might come from uh, the Zoomers and the Zillennials and their mental illness? I mean, oh, the fake shit that they were told in school? And no one trained them and no one taught them, but they all got socials and they're all expecting free shit. Well, how's that working for them now? Have you thought about what it's like to be homeless? Have you thought about what it's like just to be a pothead? Man, the system, where are all the people from uh, Occupy Wall Street? Where are they? Do you remember the guy with the masters in fine arts and puppetry? I looked him up not too long ago. He's still failing. <clears throat> that's, that's, and then that, what? What competition to work? Like you could walk in the, to, oh, okay. Um, hey, can you show up on time? We'll pay you a living wage. Oh, you will now. It, so there's there's a lot going on, and if you're just sane compared to everyone else, if you're you're living a pretty high standard of living. And my team, my crew, my team. We all know not to get girls pregnant, right? Until we're ready. <clears throat> we all know not to major in dumb shit. Even in a collapse, who do you think is going to have a better time of it? Like us or people who live in tents. Oh, they have that part down. But when when there isn't a bunch of suburbanite Karens giving them all the food. Oh, my God, I want to help you with my husband's money. <laughs> when that ends, because there ain't no food to give. <laughs> I mean, you guys know enough, like, oh, maybe I should buy some food. Maybe I should, you know, get some guns and have shifts. And I should find some arable land and get a well. Like common sense. What are the assholes in New York who live in apartments like, oh my God, I'm gonna write for the New Yorker. And Dr. Huberman is just such a such a such a cad. Oh my god, I'm such a contributing member. To this. What do you mean no electricity? I should use my typewriter and mail it. What do you mean no cops? What do you mean they're downstairs? Oh well, well, there are people. We let them in, right? We 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 get I give them food all the time. What do you mean they're coming? What do you mean raisining and pillage? Did they see my Ruth Bader Ginsburg sticker down there? <clears throat> and here's another thing I'd say. I, 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 and you can read the book, uh, Enjoy the Decline, which I have linked below. And it kind of goes into this a little bit more. Have good sex with good-looking people. Be a good-looking person yourself and go have sex with good-looking people. That pisses off the leftists the most. It absolutely does. Because <clears throat> they ain't going to have sex with good-looking people. They're not going to be good-looking. They'll get pissed off. But yeah, do it. Go have it. I mean, it's a dwindling percentage. Okay, first, the percent of the population that is sane and knows, yeah, you got to be good looking uh, to have sex with good looking people. Uh, so there's that's already a small percentage of the population. Then that percentage of the population, what percent of them actually do the work to diet and exercise? Uh, that's an incredibly small percent of the population. I think the fact that you just in enjoying what you want and doing what you want to do here and now. It's awesome, man. And you can do it because you didn't fuck up your life. <clears throat> you don't, you know, it, it's really cool. And you're at the top of your game when you're a 21 year old college junior and you're about to be like, I know so much because my professors tell me so much. And I have this list all the world. Like, that's the peak. And it just, 
by the time you're 32, you're protesting and you won't work. You won't work another job. You go to protest for a student loan bailout. Like to be those people? Nope. Mm -mm, nope. <clears throat> Hiking. Doesn't cost you a penny. I mean, it may take some gas to get to the trailhead, but man, I'll just go for my hike. Just got to chill out, man. I'm going to go walk around, wander the earth. I'm going to go whatever. Take the dog with no real value out. I'm going to go do my thing and enjoy my life. And oh no, this thing is happening. Yeah, it sure sucks. I, and I'd say the other thing death, non debt slaves can do is like prepare for it. Do you have good skills? Do you have arable land? Do you have a well? Do you have a community? I'm not a prepper expert, but what has done me, brought me great solace is taking actions to hedge against a collapse to make sure I'd survive. You get the solar panels, you get a well. I have friends, we have an agreement, we will take shifts, there's a perimeter. <clears throat> um, I know what I'm gonna produce. Oh, uh, what else? Everyone's gonna be sexy in my, you know, the girls I have sex with will be pretty. I decree, I decree unto you that all the women I have sex with, because I'm JFK or Diamond Joe Quimby, there's a lot. They will all be good looking and thin. Did they get rid of him too now? Because uh, I don't know reasons because people run that. Simpsons are a bunch of dicks. Yeah, it's it's a lot of stoicism. It's a lot of focusing on what you need. It's a lot of minimalism. By the way, my minimalism course, if you've got financial problems, you want to end that, go take my minimalism course. Achieving minimalism theory and practice. It's unteachable. <clears throat> How, what can we non definitely look forward to with the scum age? Just, just enjoying a life on your own. Just enjoy a good life. A, a cons and not a consequence for your life, but a a burden. No, no life is burdenless, but the least amount of burden. Freedom, relaxation. Enjoying other people's misery and pain that they brought upon themselves. It's it's great. It's great. It's just because that's the age I am, and all the gals my age are, you know, going men going to the big menopause. They all got Ruth Bader Ginsburg bumper stickers. It's like, what if? What? Just hear me out. What if you were like nice and stayed in shape and had sex? What? Just wondering. Would that not be better than going to a feminist rally? I well, really, which would you rather want? I. All right. Super chat. So link below the book of numbers analyzing the ROI and the pursuit of, oh, no, that's not it. Um, enjoy the decline. Enjoy the decline, accepting live with the death of the United States. That's like 12 years old, I think. And then, um, uh, oh, sanity is the future of wealth. That's an essay. Please get that book if you haven't. It's an essay. Short read, simple concept. You're like, oh, yeah. Just the fact I'm sane is going to drastically increase my standards of living because I won't be driven mad. Can you imagine like going to school for 12 years and you say, okay, now I got to get my college degree. Then you go it's four more. Now you're at, uh, well, 13 with high with kindergarten. So you're at 13 after you graduate from high school. Then you go to school for another four years. Now you're at 17. You don't get the job because <clears throat> you believe Marxist left this boomer and professor bullshit. And then you're like, oh, but you got to get a master's. Oh, okay. And then you go another 200 grand into debt for a master's degree. You still don't get the job. And then like you go get a PhD. And by that time, you're like 30 and you're like $250,000, $300,000 into debt. Wow. Dude, you couldn't punish that person more than they've done it themselves. You just couldn't. <clears throat> and the fact you're like, that was a dumb degree. You majored in feminist studies. That was stupid because you're sane. How much pain did that person suffer with getting a doctorate in women's studies, whatever? Like, I need a bill. Like, lady, you're 42. Knock it the fuck off already and go get a job. No, you're not getting married. You're too old. It's too old. You got too much debt. <clears throat> just go. Just, just work a job, okay? Just, just try it this way. Just work a job. Gnome saying, five bucks. Have you ever seen the movie Falling Down? Yes. Purchase and watch it for the first time last night. What a gem. I, it was good. I don't think it was the best thing ever, but it's a good movie. Yeah. Michael Douglas. Lar, 57, five bucks. How can I enjoy the decline when I know I'll have to live under the future regime? Right. <clears throat> That's why I don't have kids, among many other reasons. Uh, but if you make yourself small enough, what do you, I mean? 
if if they make it to the point it's not worth living, you're going to end up with the long range hole puncher. Because it, if it's like okay, I'd rather take death. All right, then then most of society will be rebelling on some level. <clears throat> but if it gets to that point, most be, first usually people are tremendously disincentivized to work, and then there's no tax base, and then there's nothing being produced, and then all of a sudden the law goes away, and all of a sudden like oh my god, where where the cow? No, no, there won't be a, a you know like the state needs money, backed up by production in order to oppress you. I mean, the best they could hope for would be like the Soviet Union or East Germany. Um, <clears throat> you don't have to breed. You, there's always the Smith and Wesson retirement plan. That's in two of my books. But right now, yeah, just chill out, man. Just chill. Just no, I no, I don't work hard. I mean, guard your time. Like a lot of things you could do would be barter. Where okay, I'll fix the house. You know, <clears throat> you could. Go work up the money, pay 30%. Well, in those days, it'd probably be 50, 55% in taxes. And with the little minuscule amount that the government lets you have left over, maybe go buy a house, but that'd take forever. Or you guys could say, yeah, you know what? I'm going to work uh, 10 hours a week at the Swedish tax, late, uh, tax rates. And then me and my buddies are going to do an old school barn raising. We're just going to raise a barn and we're going to have our housing for free. Uh, Florida Henry, five bucks. I just left flight operations and the incompetence is hitting there. What's flight opera? I don't know what, what, what are you a pilot? I don't know. <clears throat> the incompetence is hitting there. That's all good. Good. Excellent. More dread. 15 Australian. The vast majority of people want corruption as long as it is in their favor. You can remove a tyrant, but the general populace is the real problem. You got it. You got women, commies, sips, cucks. Just rank, just say leftists. Doesn't matter who they are, what their sex is, what their sexual preference doesn't matter. Leftists, okay, which are parasites. I'm not saying it to be edgy. I'm not saying I am literally describing you and you have to agree with me. I want other people's money to pay for me. That's a parasite. <clears throat> Big George Costanza, two bucks. Do you believe the Tates are Operation Evil? I haven't followed them enough because it's too... Uh, Schmaltzy? Is that the word? I, I don't care about the Tates. I, I, I don't. I don't hate them either. I'm just like, I don't. Because I get my emails flooded with a bunch of douchebags from their Hustlers University. <laughs> so uh, I'm like, yeah, they're making their money good for them. But I, um, I don't trust them. But I also don't trust people making their accusations. I'm still surprised to this day. None of the charges includes tax evasion or financial in nature. Florida Henry, five bucks. Log jam is opening up, but corporations make work so miserable, and I actually enjoy hard work. Yeah, it, well, another thing, he says, what can we look forward to? Self-employment. That's what I would do. That's what I do do. But if I were to ever, like, you know, answer one of those emails, I'm like, I will be a contractor. Here's my hourly fee, unless you're paying me in silver. I will not be coming into the office. I will not tolerate any baby boomer banker bullshit or antics. No, I don't interview with HR, <clears throat> and you will shut the fuck up about, well, you know, he's had some tough times. Then that's a better reason not to lend to him. You don't understand. Anyone who comes up to me and says, but you don't understand, I have it in writing. I can punch him in their face. You don't understand. Pow. Ow! Oh, you do understand. You do understand. I'm sorry. Generation Apollo, five bucks. Mistake economy is in full effect. Baltimore Bridge collapse accident is a perfect example. I, really, is it? I mean, was it? You know, I I know there was a mistake there. Uh, did they do the investigation? What happened? Let's, let's hold off. Hold off. You know, I'll have to go immediately run. Oh, it's some affirmative action hire leftist. Uh, so, no, just let's hold off. I think it's probably someone who didn't do their job on the boat. That's what I think it is. Sylvanus B, five bucks. Do you think the space expansion will survive the fall or save it? Starship 3 footage was inspiring, right? I think the space expansion. What are you talking about? Uh, Starship Troopers? Starship 3? I, I don't know. 
Reed Schwartz are five bucks. Unfortunately, the collapse is showing that the truly stupid will have kids while the good people won't. Yep, that's why you need to have no welfare state. If if there's no food, because they don't have money, because they're stupid, they will have less kids. Starvation is what kept stupid people from breeding. Why? Well, I, I, all these era, you gotta have kids. You gotta man up. You gotta go. Oh my God! Right, 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 right. And I'm like. No, I don't. And now it's looking like, oh, is that another decision of mine that has aged like a fine scotch? It is. Oh, my God. The, I'll have a shot of the Clary 100 year, please. Thank you. Uh, Tread cons are correct. They're unfortunate. Well, look, here. Tread cons at any point in time, conservative, Republican, libertarian types. At any point in time, your women can get hot, they can start having sex, and you can start having kids. Nothing's stopping you. <clears throat> Nothing. All right? But I have no kids for many good reasons. A lot of personal, because it doesn't have anything to do with the environmental side. But I, uh, I hear all you, some of which are the woman type, the woman folk, you're like, oh my God, I'm a conservative. I'm a I'm a tradcon wife. Okay, start having sex. Start having kids. Whoa, hey, well, uh, don't you want to donate to my Patreon? No, I want you to start having sex and make babies. No. Well, but but you can see some pictures of me in a dress in a field with the sun setting behind it. No, no, go make some kids. Ah, um, yeah. How about let's start with showing up on dates on time? Oh. Hent clogs two bucks. Ick con Nick. I can't remember. I am Ick bin Voler Chocolade Chocolate. I'll have to look it up. I'm impressed you know German hat. Yax 20,001, which what is the exchange rate now? Is that like two bucks <clears throat> or 20 bucks? I'm enjoying the decline in this hellhole, seeing a bunch of. 586 gen leftists and women who brought feminism worrying about a bunch of 586. What's 586? Man, all you guys with your words and your phrases. 586. I'm not getting anything. I don't know what that is. Um, seeing a bunch of 586 gen leftists and women who brought Bought feminism, worrying the future and suffering and debt is sweet as soju. But I should be ready for an escape before North Korea takeover. Yep, yep, that's another drawback out there. I only got 30 years left. I think it's going to be good. I'm going to enjoy my ride across America. I'm going to hang out with some cool people. I'm going to eat some good food. And I'm going to go for a hike. Now we can improve upon that. Let's introduce the sex thing again. Blow jobs in the middle of hiking. Okay, see how we can all have some fun here? That doesn't cost anything. That doesn't require politics or leftists or anything. That's just, you just like find a cool guy like, yeah, I want to go give blow jobs in the desert. Blow jobs in the desert. Who's with me? Anyone? Anyone? <clears throat> We're all in agreement. Oh, there's another group of people who aren't. Oh, oh, yeah. That's another sad thing. Like, what a good sex. Like, you could have sex anytime. Good sex. Why am I wrong? Can we just have good whether that's communists in charge or not? Oh no, there's a there's a there's a what's the bottle jam? What's the log jam there? There's a bottleneck to having a good sex. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh yeah, yeah. That group of people never really like sex that much. I forgot about that. Oh well, video games it is. <clears throat> Reed Schwartz are five bucks. Uh, Cappy, any thoughts on the woman in New York that lost her house after the squatters of the cops arrested her? That would have been um, hockey mess time for me. No joke. I would have been like, nope, nope. But did she vote Democrat? You bought a house in New York. See, I before you guys all started sucking his dick, Trump was a Democrat. And he donated to the Democrat causes and Democrat politicians. This God is here. And I'm like, good. It's not good. It's unfair. It's not right. But it's like, oh, the place you set up your company is now suing you for all of it. <clears throat> And all these, just just so you know, rich people aren't aren't automatically capitalist, conservative, libertarian, free market Republicans. A lot of rich people are Democrats, and they live in New York and California. And they're like, "Oh my God, they took my money!" I'm like, "Oh fuck yourself." 
Fucking donate to the Democrats for decades. And then then you're, oh, my God, the the system I contributed to for all these decades has bit me in the ass. Fuck off. Jeremy Lewis, five bucks. Want a successful society? Don't forget the NBA. More people should get a doctorate in business administration. Absolutely. I know none other than the Carlson School of Management. <clears throat> doesn't count if you don't go to the Carlson School of Management. Speaking of where the bankers would end up, NBAs, a lot of MBAs would end up there too. A lot of politicians, a lot of MBAs, a lot of professors. And just, I, just Look, I solved the housing crisis. There'll be a lot of open houses. A lot of open houses. Like, oh, look at all these nice houses by the campus. I don't know where all the professors left. Hey, they, they're gone now. Look at all this real estate that opened up since I banned colleges from existing. Look at these nice dormitories. Can lower the cost of rent for the few people that work in this country. <clears throat> Sylvanus, two bucks, SpaceX in the industries to develop space. I, I don't know anything about it. I wish I could speak competently about it, Sylvanus, but I, I don't. Uh, we're not going to be able to keep this up, though. We're not. We, it was 1965. <clears throat> we were already on our way to the moon. I think that was our peak. And then instead of investing in exploring the cosmos and expanding humanity and chasing excellence, we said welfare state. And then we just destroyed, like, coming up on four generations of Americans. Uh, we could have been somewhere. We could have been a lot of places by now. But we decided to piss away all the money on poor people who are never going to work anyway. And they created more poor people. Oh, my God. Oh, shock. I can't. Shut up. We're so sick. Shh. No talkie. No talkie. We're done listening to it. You don't know. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <clears throat> George Castain's the two bucks. I kind of missed the dude bros and the simp requests. Uh, I haven't um I haven't um uh, done those yet. I've I've been off for a while. I've been flying a lot, is what I've been doing. So there, there's some coming up. Yaks two a thousand Korean one. Korean eight. Five eight five eight six gen equals American baby boomers and Gen X. Oh, okay. So that's their that's their baby boomers. Korean eight five six. Let me try that in. What's what are they called? You don't have to send five eight six. You don't have to tell me why. Why they call it that? I'm just kind of curious why they do. Five eight six Korean five eight six. Oh, I'll type in generation. Yeah, I'm just getting addresses in Seoul, Korea. I'm sure it has something to do with the uh, date back in the day. <clears throat> All right, we got one more super chat. Dr. Paradise, what's up, Doc? Five bucks. My first marriage ended when I had to turn my Korean wife over to the feds for attempted immigration fraud. <laughs> yeah, access. Wait. Okay, so if you were married, oh, was she just trying to scam you? Was that it? And then you found out it was a scam and then you re reported her? Or like, she got married, and then I think it was the previous. Yax is speaking the truth. Yeah, I just, I had a buddy who had a friend come over from Korea, a girlfriend, and we're dating or nothing. <clears throat> uh, but he, uh, let's say her trip to the United States ended early and she went back home. And uh, he's like, nope, that's it. That's, we're done here. I kind of feel bad for him. He, uh, he he took her to a lot of like if um, I went to Korea and had some Korean girl drive me around and show me all the really cool things of Korea. But Korea was the size of the United States. Like this guy took her to a lot of cool places, not like restaurants. I mean, like you know, parks and really cool. The true American trip. And she was the most ungrateful, insufferable child. I was like, oh, my God, that. <laughs> guys rule number one never do anything nice for anyone okay there don hansecker part of the 1099 superior race no stress blow jobs and high ski i think blow jobs and blow jobs in the desert man blow jobs and hiking don't know what's wrong with that oh wait there's another oh this is why gay guys are so happy They're like yeah blow jobs in the desert let's do that tomorrow let's go what are you doing this afternoon blow jobs in the let's think there's there's no pulling of teeth and negotiating. Oh, my God. There's no threats of, oh, that was assault. I just recommended blowjobs in the desert. Oh, the patriarchy. Oh, is, never mind. Uh, thank you, Cappy, for bringing a smile to my face. Yep. 
look, I the idea is just. I always love people who don't like fun. I just like what what is it, man? What there's people who don't like ice cream. They're autos people. And then there's people who don't like fun, if you know what I'm saying. All right, that's it. Link below. Enjoy the decline. And then also sanity is the future of wealth. I'll see you guys later. Toodles.